This is the Scion 3A, which had the cracked hinge. Um, if you saw part one, you'll see that there was uh, three Scion 3As um, I was using and uh, trying to create one good one. Um, we scavenged everything we could from one with a severely broken hinge. Um, and I said that we'd take a look and see if we could glue this um, together. I know that super glue does not work. I've tried that before, back when I originally owned a, a Scion 3A, but I read online about um, some different type of glue which, which might do the job. In disassembling this Scion, I found a few interesting things. So this must be an early model. Um, the first thing is that this keyboard, uh, the keys are loose, so if we can pick off the keycaps, um, which makes it a little bit trickier. Yes, Tifa. It makes it a little bit, that's my cat, sorry. Um, it makes it a little bit trickier to, to handle, but it's actually a much better quality keyboard than um, the ones that um, have a full membrane. So maybe we'll do something with that. Um, yes. This is going to be a, a common feature in these videos. Um, I have a cat. She's deaf. She doesn't know how loud she is, and she's very needy. So in also disassembling this, um, part of this uh, button bar broke off. Um, kind of hard to see, but there's a little peg there. Now this is quite structural. Um, these springs hook onto that peg. I cannot imagine, that even if this glue works on the hinge, it will be strong enough to um, hold this peg in place and then have the tension of that spring. Very hard to see. But we have a spare button bar, so maybe it's not the end of the world for that. Put that to the side. The other thing I discovered was um, in the teardown video, uh, I, I kind of wrecked a screen because I'd read online somewhere that you have to um, peel off this, uh, this cover and then replace the screen from underneath. Uh, but I, I, I discovered that there were screws um, in this part of the, of the body that could be unscrewed and you could actually remove this whole screen unit. So um, if we look at, where have I put it, this one. So this is the one that um, came from the, the S3 that we scavenged. There are screw holes here, which would have meant that I could just remove this whole screen structure. I've clipped it back in so that's not going to work. But the other thing I've discovered is uh, this had either an earth or something um, and this screen does not and this screen does not have the screw holes. So maybe for some older model, which I guess are the models that have these type of um, non-full membrane keyboards, you probably have to peel all of this off to replace the uh, the screen. So if you're buying parts, I don't. I'm not sure how you would uh, distinguish between them because there there maybe are some telltale signs. But obviously, the later models have this kind of screw in the screen, and these don't. It means we can't use this screen on the Jaguar Scion. Um, so we should definitely go ahead and try and repair the hinge. So the glue I'm going to try using is this um, Evo Stick PVC pipe weld, extra strong. Uh, the instructions say that we need to cut the pipe to be welded square. I think we can ignore that bit. Lightly roughen the surfaces to be bonded. They're probably rough anyway because they broke. Apply an even and generous coating of the adhesive to the pipe and a similar but lighter coat to the fitting. 
immediately push together so the full depth without okay hold for 20 to 30 seconds and clean off any excess adhesive now we need to leave this to set for 10 minutes before handling and another 24 hours before before putting in service um, so I'm going to leave this for 24 hours to glue um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how we get on so I'm going to put a little bit of this glue on some cardboard and somewhere I've got a q-tip or a cotton earbud I think I'm going to snip the end off of this and I'm going to use this to apply the glue to both sides so the, the, um, the crack is right here you can see on this side it's still intact and on this side it's not the other thing I was thinking about doing was this pin needs to connect into the base so I'm wondering if we can yeah push this pin out a little bit so that when we reassemble if this is strong enough we can just tap this pin back into place so let's apply some glue to this section Apply some glue to this as well. Now I gotta be careful, make sure I put it back in the right place and angle, and also have it comfortable to hold for 10 seconds. So it's a little bit more than 10 seconds. Uh, hopefully I've got something around here to wipe off the glue. Let's use this. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. I'm not so bothered about the excess on this side. Maybe it'll strengthen it a little bit. So I guess we we leave this now for 24 hours and um, see if it see if it sticks. Twenty four hours later and. Um, this PVC pipe weld stuff seems to have done a pretty good job from the looks of things. I mean, uh, it seems pretty solid. I mean, I guess the only way we're going to really tell is if uh, is if we start to reassemble this scion and um, and just sort of check it for durability. I think I did slightly glue it out of position. It feels a little bit raised up at this this edge here than it should be. Yes, Tifa, it does. Um, so let's try reassembling it and we'll see if um, see if it sticks. Right, so reassembling this, I guess we start with the screen first. So I'm gonna try and there's a pin here that slots into these holes somehow. Yep, and I knocked this pin out so that it would be easier, I hope, to get back in and yeah, that's, so that can just use finger pressure to get that back in. So next we'll rewire the screen. 
sometimes it's tricky. Maybe it's another omen that we shouldn't be replacing screens on these things. Right, so that's pretty tough. Seems like um, just applying pressure from the middle and uh, using your fingers rather than a tool, which was probably really great footage on the camera. So the button bar on this um, 512K Scion snapped when we uh, took it apart. So we do have a spare button bar from um, the donor Scion that we uh, disassembled and tore down in the in the last episode. So I'm going to try and use this button bar instead of trying to repair the other button bar. Uh, these kind of There's a couple of pegs that need to slot in to a hole which is going to be really difficult to show on camera. Um, it's also going to be difficult to get in. Get one side in. Is that in? Nearly. So there's the answer. Mission failed, the glue didn't stick. In trying to get the button bar in, it broke. So I'd be interested to know if anybody has any suggestions on what kind of glue we could use for this. This is obviously not strong enough. It probably would have broken within a couple of opens and closes. Um, yeah, so that's a failure. I'm sorry. I don't I don't know what else to say. So 24 hours later, we have a failure. This didn't work any better than the super glue I remember using back um, back when I owned one of these before. Um, I'd be interested to know if anybody has any suggestions on how we can repair these hinges using some kind of glue. If maybe I'm just using the wrong glue again. I read this somewhere on the internet and doesn't mean to say it was correct, right? Um, I'm happy to give it another go if anyone has any suggestions on um, what we can use to repair it. Until then, stay tuned. There'll be more side questing soon. Thanks. <laughs>